All right, so we're going to get started with installing Reaper on our PC. First thing we need to do, though, is get uh, a sound driver called Osseo for All. So you go to osseoforall.com. You can see it right there. Uh, you can find the link on Jamling, but we're going to click on Osseo for All for English. And we're going to save that to our desktop. Happens pretty quickly. There we are. So we're going to close this. Should be here somewhere. And here we are. So we're going to run the installer on Osseo for all. We'll continue. Uh, we'll accept the terms of the license agreement, as always. We want to install Osseo for all. Um, destination folder. It's going to make an Osseo for all folder. We'll install it. And we're done. Finished with that. Now we're going to go to reaper.fm, which is right here. And we're going to download the latest version of Reaper. So we'll click on the download link, like so. And we're going to get Windows. And once again, we're going to save to the desktop. Now I already, in order to make this fast, already saved it, so it's already there, so we'll just uh, go to that. Let's see. And Reaper installer is right here. So we're going to run that installer. Of course, got to agree to the agreement as always. We're going to install everything that it wants us to install, and we're going to run it. There we go. And we're going to run Reaper. And here it is. Now, they have a project that comes up, but we're going to go ahead and close that project. And we're going to open a new project of our own. Okay, so here we are in Reaper, and now all we need to do is enable that Osseo for all so that our latency or the echo is as small as possible. So I'm going to go up over here to this corner where there is all this writing 44100HZ, which stands for Hertz. Anyways, I'm going to click on that, and that's going to give me the audio device settings. Right now, my device is set to wave out, but I'm going to change that to Osseo, the driver that we just got. Osseo driver is Osseo for all. Enable inputs. Don't worry about this because they actually are connected. Everything looks good, so now I'm going to press OK. And now I have Reaper set up to record audio with the smallest possible latency on my PC. Mission accomplished.